for people who are feeling pressure to kind of be extra creative right now or, you know, do some great work right now. I want you to know that it really is okay to just be surviving right now. Hi, I'm Dr. Joy Harden Bradford, a licensed psychologist in Atlanta, Georgia, and the creator of Therapy for Black Girls. I thought it was important to make two episodes around managing the anxiety you have around COVID-19 because I can feel the anxiety that is increasing in the community. So some of the conversations and, you know, communications that I've been having with clients as well as in the larger Therapy for Black Girls community have really been around fears related to contracting the virus as well as the financial implications of jobs shutting down, people concerned about being able to pay rent or their mortgage, pay for school, those kinds of things. So here are three tips that I think may help you to manage any anxiety you might be experiencing. The first thing is to make sure that you are paying attention to how much news you are consuming. So I think it can be really tempting when people feel anxious to want to kind of stay connected to lots and lots of information, but really that can be making you feel more overwhelmed. So I typically suggest that people check in once in the morning, once in the evening with a reputable news source so that they have everything that they need to know. Another tip is to make sure that you are scheduled scheduling time to stay connected to your support system. So because we're not able to see our friends and family members in person, it is really important to do Zoom calls or Google Hangouts or whatever it is so that you're staying connected to your support system because that's going to be really important as we continue to be home probably for some time. The other thing that I think is really important is to make sure that you have a plan for what's going to happen should you or someone in your family start to exhibit symptoms of contracting COVID-19, knowing how to get in touch with your primary care physician, having a plan mapped out with them I think is really important. If you're somebody who is already struggling with a mental health concern, it is likely that any symptoms you are already having may feel more intense. So I'd encourage you to be gentle and kind with yourself and to know that there's nothing wrong with you, so to speak. It is the, the reality of the world that we're living in right now. So if you are continuing to work with your therapist, make sure you have a plan for how you all are going to connect virtually. And if you haven't had a therapist at this point, then this would likely be a great time to receive some of that support. We are not all just on vacation right now. And so I think sometimes there is the temptation to kind of busy ourselves right now um, because we have all this free time, so to speak, but it's not free time. For people who are feeling pressure to kind of be extra creative right now or, you know, do some great work right now, I want you to know that it really is okay to just be surviving right now. Like that is really our goal is to just get from one day to the next right now. So release any pressure that you might be feeling to be a star student or an A plus employee or a super mom or the greatest homeschooler in the world right now, because just you and your family surviving is all we can ask for right now. On our webpage at therapyforblackgirls.com, we have a guide to getting started with therapy. It is important that you find somebody who you can connect with that you really feel like is gonna get you. 